it's one it's, artist that embodied all of that what you're saying in his music and that what represents us was juvenile Juvenile would back that ass up and how No, no, I agree. I don't agree with that. that juvenile bro. put out. Hell no. It was our Hell name, no. Bro. It's no. the way we dress, the way we talk. I don't agree with that. Nobody else represents it. No, I'm older than that, so no, I'm, I'm not, not gonna saying ever saying go there that like that. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. I wanna go back. Were you done with, with talking about that? Because I want to go back yeah. to the tour, the comedy tour. How do you set up and make the relationships and build the whole, you know, movement? How do you, how do you deal how how do you deal with organizing? You know, the movement. Contact, you know, because Silk was here and very distraught last time. He said, "Man, that's a, <laughs> this is not for me." You know, trying to set everything up and trying to get everything done. It's a process to it, right? For me. It's more off of relationships. Like, I tap in with a lot of people. I have relationships. But I also learned from somebody who did it on a larger scale. So I was able to watch how they do it and just implement their process and my process. You feel me? So I might, I'm going to come to cities that I know I know people. And I'm just going to like, yo, I need a spot out there. I, I'm doing this. And they're going to find it for me. You feel me? And like I said, everything is dependent on Networking. There. We can eat together. Yeah, that's Like, good. I ain't trying to take from you. So it's mm -hmm. like, they're going to find it because they're going to get a piece of the Exactly. Deal. Wow. I like that. I like the way how you work together like You that. seen Cameron on that, on that, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about, don't you? When he was on that, uh, that, that, that CNN. That news, CNN. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> man. The <Whoa>. GOAT. <laughs> That nigga, he had his advertising to go in, man. He's he drinking promoting one, his He's stuff. drinking one, too. I don't know who we were headed to see because what he's drinking, you know, you about to go get something. Man, every you know time I mean? you put Cameron on the stage like that, he going to cut up. Mm -hmm. he you know got to come at him correct. It ain't no crossing him up. He coming with it. For sure, for sure. Yeah, uptown nigga. You feel me? <laughs> he said, who who arranged this? I didn't know it was going to be this type of interview, dude. <laughs> like, facts. Like, you called me on here to ask somebody me about another man. With right. all the stuff I got going on, you want to exactly. talk about another man. When last time you read, you and him linked up? Well, you talked to him. I went to Cam, um, I went to his anniversary concert out there in New York. He did it at um, the Apollo. Okay. So I went out there and checked him How out. How was his temperature? Yeah, yeah, it was nice. You heard me? Everything we, was good. We stay communicating. No, you heard me? We tap in. That's hard, man. I got a question. So, you know, you were talking earlier about Silk and um, Silk the Shocker. Silk the Shocker and what? I don't play about Silk. And what? Um, <laughs> what's his name? Shawty. Um, the Shawty community. feel good. What he said on um, what's his name podcast? Yeah, on, what did on, he say about Silk on that podcast? He was Jonesing. That's what they do down there. They go to talking and acting a fool about stuff. Because you were there. Yeah. And, uh, uh, I just felt like you know uh, Silk, you know, is misunderstood when it come down the way I feel about him. I, it's hit and miss with the way people feel about him. How did music. you feel about what he said? Nah, he was just saying Silk Flow. Like back then, we criticized mm -hmm. Silk Flow. You feel no, me? we didn't. Yeah, I'm talking about in the city. In, you got to understand. Orleans. Oh, in New Orleans. Because you what I'm different. saying. When yeah. I say we, I'm talking about down New there. Orleans, in, New Orleans, though, gotcha. right. in New Orleans. Gotcha. Right? New Orleans is an island of itself. Yeah, so exactly. We hold our culture to heart. Like, if, if you walk in a way that you don't walk like you from us, we're going to tell you about your walk. Mm. But Silk style was different. I lost two brothers in the year and I can't even cope. I tried to go, but I still end up selling dope. Than what we was used to in New Orleans. And he said he purposely did that. Right, you? and I watched the interview. But see, it wasn't by that. itself. Yeah. It was, it, it was, Mysticals was different. Y'all better get rid of the rumble. Got to run like a jungle. Spicy like gum. You gotta understand. Mysticals was different. Mystical come from Big Boy Record, which was already a staple in New Orleans. So it's different to you. But to us in New Orleans, he swagging us. He swagging okay. us. I'm not saying but Silk, Silk wasn't. wasn't. I'm not saying he wasn't swagging okay. us. I'm saying the way he would rap, it was different. Mm -hmm. Long so, as Silk got that tank on his neck, nigga, and long <laughs> as that nigga is a miller, you can't count him out. I'm not counting Silk. I wouldn't give a damn what. That's, what. Tiller, that's Listen, the homie. So <laughs> all that damn trying to figure out if he rapping this or rapping that, to me, I listen to him. 
He was on songs early on, and I was older, so I was listening, yeah. and I ain't felt no kind of way when I listened to him, nigga. Because I'm from that. Texas, and I listened to him and Pimp them on them songs together. I I'm just sitting here, days thinking about all the times we had, thinking about the past. And told niggas on this show this over and over <laughs> again, you know what I'm saying? I feel and that. And I, I ride with it. I never felt like it was no different. Of course, I know his cadence was different or whatever, but all they was doing, peace shit was different to me, but he did have a new How artist you feel. Body, your body, your body, 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 if you body, body, we we'll say you body, body. The vision of New Orleans, like what painted that first vision of New Orleans to y'all? <sighs> Man, when I first, when I heard the music from New Orleans, to be honest with you, that was Pete. That was to me. I didn't hear Cash Money first or nothing and like who that. Who painted the vision for you of New Orleans? Like, if you ever thought of New Orleans, what? painted that picture for me it's different it's not really music no it's not really an individual it's more of the mardi gras the 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 festivities the, all right and it's one the, artist that embodied all of that what you're saying in his music and that what represents us was juvenile Juvenile would back that ass up and how No, no, I agree. I don't agree with that. that juvenile bro. put out. Hell no. It was our Hell name, no. It's no. the way we dress, the way we talk. I don't agree with that. Nobody else represents it. Bro, P now was no, before I'm that. I'm saying, older than that, so no, I'm, I'm not, not gonna ever go there like that. I'm That's saying bullshit. The perfect description of New Orleans. That's your opinion. He music embodied artists. everything. That's subjective. That's juvenile. That's subjective as no, hell. It's juvenile. Bro, I listen to P and all them niggas before juvenile. I ain't even know juvenile. What? They call us drug dealers. What about the police? This the other day, my little homie stole the but you was on you I'm was on a different you New Orleans then. Yeah, I was I was on Master P. I'm not Master P is from where I'm from, so I he's breaking so you for me. Okay, but, but, I was but not, me that you. shit you just said is for nigga that thought of it that way. But for me, looking at what I seen, I seen Master P come I got out a question. and I seen him doing his thing, and that's what I was like, damn, that New Orleans hard. Man, Master P inspired your New Orleans to be where it's at. Okay, Without so I don't know, I don't know about that other shit. But that's what I don't know I was that about that. Because then it's different. Because you got to think about Juvie it. Too. Don't when you from the city, just like we we here and we know who's hot here and right. we know the music. But then somebody coming from out of town might not even ever heard of that person. Exactly. They know about Yellow Bees and all these other people who's you know big global whatever. Right. So it's the same thing. I'm thinking with y'all. You know about Juvie there because Juvie was. Now you know I about said, Peepers. No, you but lying. I'm just saying <laughs> Juvie was lying. the person down there then, but. P was more global, so we heard about him before we knew, you know. Of juvenile. Of juvenile. Right. So that's True. the reason so why anybody heard juvenile else. Juvenile from Hot. That's that's when we heard the nigga. And guess what? What? Soldier Rag is better than Hot. That's your opinion, nigga. Soldier Rag is better than Hot. I like Hot way better than Soldier Rag. Man, I like. Do you, well, you know, know what's, that, what's that song? Yeah, I heard Soldier Rag, but. That four hundred degrees, dum, 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 dum. that shit be jammed. That nigga be jamming though. You see me, I eat, sleep, shit, and talk rap. You see that ninety-eight Mercedes on TV, I bought that. Facts. He got a lot of songs, nigga. You can't just say that's one song better than that song. I, I, Everybody going. That's you a asking subject. me for the identity of my city. I'm but giving you the identity it, of my city. But for, for the people who are outside looking in, it's a whole different ball game, baby. Well, they missed the, They missed it's it. It's a whole different they ball game. The second line Uptown Super Sunday. <laughs> see, he you know ain't hear stuff BG that. say second line. We Super heard Sunday. it, but we wasn't there. Nigga. You got to see it. You know, and what people saying? don't know what it is, right. but they can hear it. Yeah. But just experience it is totally different. It's totally Facts. different. So I'm gonna never see it. From the same visual that right. you see, because you in the, he showed, in the inside of this shit. He made every young hustler think they could be something more. Mm -hmm. you and feel so me? And, and when, when did Ghetto too, Dope came yeah. out, still did too. Because Ghetto Silk, Dope made wrote, people up they hustle. You feel me? He coming with some rules on Ghetto yeah, Dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit hard too. You feel me? Yeah, man. I told P, I'm like, boy, if I would have just. Like I'm like you gave it Studied to him. the game. You gave it to him. Yeah, ghetto yeah. dope gave you the game. They did. But Cash Money made us so infatuated with the game. We ain't want nothing else but the game. Mm -hmm. We ain't think about life outside the process the of game. the game. No, right. we ain't think about never quitting the game with Cash Money. Cash Money made us think we could live in this game for life, mm -hmm. and be old with gray hair still on the corner pumping it and, and, and getting it on. And, and that wasn't true.
and that ain't true. Mm -mm. But you know, Master P told us Master and P showed us the elevation of the game. You feel what I'm saying? He actually laid down a process with showing you like how, and he really was really early on in the South showing entrepreneurship on a whole nother level. Buying all them buildings and shit, doing stuff to reinvest his money. Facts. You seen shit that? that? We ain't gonna see. You right? ain't see nobody and we else go doing that. And we see Cash Money with twenty cars <laughs> on the avenue. That's right. He was showing. <laughs> he was more more showing you how to build up your finances. Right. He he was more about being wealthy. Mm -hmm. Why you think the game ain't perceived it so much? I don't know, but he cost cost Birdman. It was out here. They made that shit sound still good was though. Fucking up the money. Nah, Birdman, you really, stack the money. Yeah, but Birdman, out here man, fucking up the money. But Birdman was out here saying, "Nigga, I got this. Nigga, I got that. He nigga, flossing. I got this. You I gonna got spend that. Money I got floss. this." And right. it was like two different things going on when you really look at it. Facts. <laughs> but it, both of them was hard though. Yeah, you, when you look at the two di different individual, this person spending, spending, flossing, this that, because it's an image. Right. Master P, yeah, he he looked fly, but he wasn't spending like Birdman was spending. Not on right. the same thing. Not on the same thing. He more investing. Right. You Shit see, that so we can't see, so we don't even understand <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. Because we so there can't was a see difference. it. Yeah. But yep. when Baby said, go, man, we going. We got this, my <laughs> BZB bell it. up, man. I got this gold helicopter. My <laughs> toilet exactly. is gold and shit. So who do you think people would follow more? Because they can oh, see they gonna, that. They're going to follow him. They're going to get that gold yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.